Hey guys, here's our 2006 R500 Mercedes. Um, this vehicle is a, a PST paid unit, so there's only one tax on it. And it was a, a local trade-in here in Regina. Um, from the start it has, uh, right there, buy xenon headlights, high beam and low beam, with halo washers down below, and the park assist, so your park distance control sensors on the front and rear bumpers, and fog lights there. Nice open five spoke design on the alloys and those tires were just replaced so the tread is about 95 percent. I actually had the pleasure of being able to take this on a ski trip so uh, I can tell you from the from personal experience it's one of the more comfortable vehicles I've ever sat in. It has a, a very uh, traditional Mercedes ride, very uh, very floaty and soft and smooth. Uh, very much what you'd picture a, a luxury vehicle to feel like and uh, you know, usually when you go into that luxury division uh, it really hinders you in the way that you have uh, cargo space in the back and uh, and uh, third row seating, things like that. Uh, you know, you don't make the sacrifice with the R500, it's kind of Mercedes version of the minivan. So I'm just gonna pull around to the side here and actually show you some of the space you get. Uh, long stretched out second doors here. When you open this up, you can see from inside, there's a ton of leg room there. And that is a very bolstered bucket seat in the second row, it doesn't have the bench. So it is a six passenger. Um, and these seats do actually fold forward and back. Uh, this is a very comfortable seating surface, it's a suede combination with the leather on the sides and as well on the backing so it doesn't get that sticky hot feeling in summer and that cool uh, uh, cold feeling in winter time, uh, just a very comfortable armrest here in the second row of course and then the third row is back there. So there's a full, a full six passenger. Uh, digital climate controls in the back of the uh, council here for the second row. So everyone's uh, very comfortable and the appointments are nice, either the stitching is really accented nicely here with this double stitching and the lighter colored threads. And from the front here, memory seating on the side here of course. This is power telescopic steering that moves up and down as well as in and out. There's look your gauge cluster there and across right here we have the navigation. So if you want you can uh, cruise around between audio, uh, the map and your satellite radio, all the different options here. There's your grid there for all this. Eject when you open that up. It's going to motorize up and down. Then you've got your CD for the navigation as well as your uh, audio right here. So you can just press eject or whatever you want to do and you'll load it back up again. Big cup holders down in the center. Digital dual zone climate controls on each side with heated seats on each side. Park distance control right here. And then this also has a power tailgate in the back, so. This uh, does have the upgraded Harman Kardon sound system. As well, the sunroof you'll see is a full length, so you have the power sunshade across right here, but also, if you can see through that headrest, the second row there. So the whole roof is actually glass, and these are also power operated. There's no manual pulling or anything. tailgate obviously opens up very easy to throw these seats down just give a tug here and you can uh, throw the seats downward a little extra storage down below just give that a flip up then you want to from the top down you just tap this button right here and then it'll fold back down again hopefully the sunlight's not coming through too uh, too terribly there Not really a lot of uh, wear and tear to speak of. The, the body and the condition of it shows very well. And uh, the chrome line accenting is, uh, is a lot. I mean, right around the real window well, and you notice on the design here, you can see the stretching all across the backside here. But they've also chosen on the C pillar right here and on the B pillar right here to cloud them out in the black. So from the side profile, what your eyes are attached to is that uh, the gloss of that chrome line accenting on the black. So uh, again from the side here, you'll notice your, uh, your eyes are just attached to that chrome, which really gives the vehicle that long stretched out sleek look. And then you got the chrome banding down below there on the door panels. So from the front end here, again very, uh, very sleek front end to the car, kind of gives you all the practicality of the minivan without that uh, minivan <laughs> if that makes sense so uh anyhow yeah hope you enjoy the video if you have any questions give me a call and we can review them then thank you